Hey guys, this is Cole Dragoth here with another episode to show off a new game that I've been trying out called Space Engineers. It's a lot like Star Made if you've ever played that game. You have blocks, you build ships, the ships you can the ships are mobile, you can blow shit up, got guns and all sorts of kind of weapons, and uh, I'm going to show you how to build the ship today and show you all the different controls that you can do in a new Quick Star World. This game has relatively long load times, but it's really not all that bad for the amount of uh, action that this game is going to have once it's fully released. It's definitely worth the wait. Now, what the difference is between Star Made and Space Engineers is that in Star Made, I mean Space Engineers, they have collisions. The ships can actually collide and cause damage with each other, which is a really neat feature. I really personally love that so much. And uh, over here you can see we have, there's two, uh, two different kinds of ships in this game unlike Star Made. We got small, large ships and small ships. Small ships use smaller blocks, can only use small blocks, the blocks are a lot smaller. And uh, large ships obviously use larger blocks and have limitations where you can't use like Gatling guns or missile launchers right now currently. I do hope they change that. But. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, this right here is a cockpit and you can get in that with T. There's also thrusters, and in this game you have to have thrusters in every single direction to, um, so that the inertia systems will actually correct your ship's balance and make sure that you're not this ship's not floating away and will, can stay stationary. All right, so, and there's also landing gear in this game which can help you dock anywhere. I mean anywhere, like asteroid, ship. It's pretty awesome. Okay, so let's get in the cockpit here to show you off some of this small ship's functions. We're going to go to third person by hitting B. And then you can see that the depending on which directions and which keys you're using, the thrusters will actually ignite. So which, that's really awesome. It only uses the thrusters that you're actually using to turn or move your ship. And when you let go, it'll actually the thrusters will kick in until it can it'll slow itself down back to zero. As long as you have thrusters in every direction. Okay, let's go back into first person mode right now. And we can actually try out the Gatling guns on this here large ship. The damage is pretty uh, minimal at best. Just some minor dents. Pretty awesome. The Gatling guns actually do rotate, but um, on this ship you can't kind of, the Gatling guns are out of view. You can also launch missiles, which cause huge amounts of damage, even to large ships. Look at that hole. Shit, just, you could just, with the infinite ammo, you could just cause endless destruction to anything in your path with these things. Just blow up huge sides, turn this sh in place into a ship graveyard. Now, with the smaller ships, though, their blocks are a lot weaker, which kind of makes sense, but they literally only take one peck from any bullet. Oh, I'm, here we go, our first collision. I crashed and destroyed the landing gear and dented the ship, okay. I'll show you the Gatling guns on this thing. See, just the devastation this thing causes. Smaller ships don't stand a chance against anything, so their speed and mobility is key when you're building a smaller, smaller fighter ship. You don't want to get hit. <laughs> One shot with a rocket launcher and you are gone. You can even launch rockets into asteroids and dig out tunnels with these things, which is awesome. You lose the resources, of course, but it's just awesome to see. And as you can see, it's pretty freaking dark in there. So I'm going to go ahead and attach... Uh, oh, actually, this ship is actually already equipped with the light, and you can activate lights with L. Not much light, but better than nothing. You can actually fly in here and see that I created a cavern in here with the explosions. And let's try to turn around... The ship turns really quickly, by the way. Okay, and that's about it for ships. I mean, you can also equip drilling machine uh, mechanisms to it to drill asteroids. So first, I'm going to show you the basics of building a ship. Kind of like that, but a lot less pretty. All right, so first you hit G, and you click New Small Ship. It'll create a little block right here that you can build off of. But the first things I like to do is set my symmetry depending on what I want to do. So I'm going to have symmetry in all four directions right now, so that way it's just the same on top and bottom, left and right. But not four on the back and front will be different. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to throw a cockpit on the bar. Got our engines, thrusters, let's put... Uh, there, what else am I missing here? Well, I'll, I'll see once I find out. So now I can start building once I go back into build mode and you can see that it is mirroring it to the sides. Now uh, a lot of things people will probably get confused when you first start using this uh, mirroring system is that you have to not only have it activated so you can turn it off with N, see, deactivated, activated. So after you set it you have to make sure it's also activated. So and how you do that is let's first, let's, I'm going to clear these out. Um, first, after you hit M and it shows the red pane, you select where you want it. For some reason, it will show you the red pane again, but you say you can click M to switch to the uh, twice to switch to the next one, and then I set that green one where I want it. And then again, you have to hit it twice to go through. And then I don't want blue, so I just hit M two more times, and then my block appears. And then you just make sure that the uh, mirroring is turned on, and it works. Easy as that. This is going to be an ugly square ship with. Um, just a cockpit on front here. Let's throw the cockpit out. Now the best things to do at first is uh, I would say get the cockpit out so you know which direction you want to be the front but also put generators because you need generators to power everything. All the things require power including the gyroscopes which help keep the ships the ship uh, from rotating out on its own so it will stop rotation but it will also let you turn while you're in your ship flying it around. And then you also need thrusters in every direction. So here we go, we're going to go, um, yeah, let's do it like that, that was pretty cool. How did I do that? Okay, so we got three in the, oh, actually six, because it mirrored it on the other side, so we got six in the front, so this thing can reverse like a champ. Alright, so we're going to do six in the back as well, and we're going to do probably just three in, um, up and down, sorry, I'm bad with this rotation. So now we got three on the bottom and top because of the mirroring. It put the put some on the bottom as well, and you need them in every direction. So now we need left and right. Oops, dang, I'm just terrible with this. Okay, so we're gonna go left and right. There we go. Now the ship can stabilize itself, fly normally. You can fly this thing around this the universe. I mean, look at that piece of cardboard, pretty much. Um, now the next thing you'd want is obviously weapons if you want it to actually be able to defend itself. So we can put some Gatling guns on the side and we'll put some rocket launchers on the top of the thrusters. Why not? Now the ship is not pretty as you can see, not compared to that little tiny thing, but it has decent amount of power, decent amount of turning, has a lot of thrusters, probably a lot more than that one maybe. And you, what's cool about smaller ships is they can actually still use the larger thrusters, but they won't be quite as large as on a, on a big ship. So if I wanted to, I could just put like two large thrusters right here. And that could, those things, as you can see, are pretty fucking huge. Um, so excuse my language. Um, on a smaller ship. Let's hop in here. And you can see that this thing is completely fly flyable, just like the other ship. In fact, I think it'll boost forward pretty darn quickly with a... These giant thrusters on the back. Oh my god, isn't that a beauty? And then, you fire the guns. You can see the guns do rotate and release. And rocket launchers. There we go. Let's test this sh ship out. As you can see, this one has more rockets. So this thing will cause even more damage to the ship and you can drill holes in the asteroids. You can be hit by debris and cause damage to your ship. Just like I said, there's full on collision. So now I'm gonna show you what happens when I'm gonna try to ram this ship. Now this, what's most definitely is gonna happen, I should say, is that the objects in the front are gonna be the first to destroy it. So the cockpit is definitely probably gonna go. And so what's going to happen is I'm going to get flung out of my ship the second I hit this thing. There we go. And you can see my ship hit. Didn't take much damage, but because the cockpit was unprotected in the front, uh, that's pretty much it. You get thrown out and the ship is unusable until you put the cockpit back down. Which could be easily just as long as you have more cockpits with you. You could just throw it right back down. 
in any direction you want. And then you can fly it again. As you can see, uh, some of the guns are I got a lot. The, some of the missiles were destroyed. And you can see the front does just not look the same as what it used to. D broken, dented metal, bits and pieces missing. Um, the engines are placeholders, so most of the items that appear text textureless or look like ugly blocks, they're going to be replacing. And I know this is a pretty long tutorial. This is more than just a tutorial to show you how to build a ship, but this is pretty much to show off the game and the glory of space engineers, I feel that this game has a lot more potential with the collision system to have a, a lot more... I don't know how to say it. It's gonna, it's gonna be... there's a lot of complexity to this game. There's a lot you could do. A lot of testing and trial and error, so hence the name Engineers. Um, I just only hope that the world will be as expansive as Star Maiden, and hopefully without those stupid sectors. Last thing I'd like to note is there's also gravity generators, and what's cool is it actually shows you on the bottom right corner where the gravity is going to be pulling, so you know which direction it's going to go. You can turn off and on your jetpack. With your jetpack off, you have to be near gravity, otherwise you're just going to be floating there. Or just you might fly off in the direction that you were going when you turned off your jetpack. So, and then it's simple, on the le bottom left it will show you whether your jetpack is on, your dampeners, which actually help stop you, so if you turn those off, you're going to have to try to stop yourself, and that's a lot harder, so just, just keep those on with your jetpack. And then lights on and off. You have small lights built on to your suit, which your character actually looks pretty decent. Definitely looks like an astronaut. They also have these um, ref a refinery, which you can mine at bits of an asteroid and refine them into here into ingots and things like that and a nuclear reactor which think these are the things that power your ships which you can also go inside by hitting K and you can look at it has some inventory in there and these these reactors will actually burn fuel they do not just create an endless amount of fuel like in StarMade like those batteries do there's also a medical station that does nothing but this is going to be a way to reset your spawn point and heal your character later on and the assembler which could take the the ore that you pr processed and turn it into actual objects that would you, you are going to be using to build blocks. So they got a factory system, or yeah, factory system all set up and ready to go. As the game updates, it'll get better and better. Let me show you an, ins an interior inside of this big ship. I actually have workable working doors too, but I found that they can be a bit buggy after loading and reloading sometimes. Here's a door, and uh, let me grab a block and put it on my bar so I could build it and make it look more like a, a hallway. So let's say you wanted to make it so you had to go through this door, you just go up to it, you click on the panel with T, and the door opens. But yeah, like I said, when I load and unload, sometimes the door, the doors itself that actually open and close are in weird spots and won't let you through, and yeah, it's just, the door just completely is, gets broken. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Space Engineers and learned how to build your first ship. There's probably a few things that I did miss, like you could shut off your engines, but just try out the game for yourself. I'm sure you'll have a blast. There's a lot of destruction. They just recently implemented multiplayer. The game's a blast. Get definitely worth 15 bucks. And I hope you enjoyed. Thank you.